Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we got an A-side match for you guys. Can Salim versus Frankie Ruiz. Frankie is not done with his info yet. Can Salim, also known as the German Sniper from Germany, sponsored by Meucci and uh, Hank the Thang. Hank the Tank? I can't read. <laughs> I think that's what it says. But yeah, he's uh, doesn't have a lot to say, but he would like to say to an aspiring player, stay down on the shot. And 10 ball is his favorite game. We are playing the WPA rules nine ball. The nine ball must be racked on the spot. One in the front, two ball must be racked at the back of the rack, and then the other six balls must be placed at random, so no, no further pattern racking other than those three balls. We are doing alternate break, rack your own. And even though we're doing rack your own, the nine on the break counts as a win in all six pockets out there. The turtle rack is mandatory. Jump cues are allowed, three foul rule is in effect. The four point break rule is not in effect, even though tournament directors have asked no soft breaks please. While we're waiting for Can to shoot a few balls, that gives you guys time to go hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell. Ring that bell so you get notified when we go live, when we upload new videos. And share. We're getting down to the end of this tournament. At least we're getting close to it. So share. Let all your friends know what's going on. What are these guys playing for? Well, the winner gets a paid entry into the U.S. Open Nine Ball Championship. Coming up later this year, plus $1,145 in cash, which is just as good as money. Help pay for those travel expenses to get to the U.S. Open. So that's a nice little, uh, nice little payday there. Thank you to the North Central Pool Tour for putting this whole thing together. Also like to give a thank you to sponsor Stephanie Welter. Selling homes by day, playing shooting pool by night. If you're in the Chicago area, you have a house you want to buy or sell, give Stephanie a call. By the way, I'm your host, Kevin Ross. So Frankie Ruiz, he's a local here at Chris's Billiards. This is where he plays. Sponsored by Chris's Billiards. Barracuda Gloves, Wendell Woods. Uh, he's won the eight ball bar table uh, tournament at Karam Room in Wisconsin. Grew up in Chicago. <laughs> uh, he started playing pool in, uh, oops, I left my name up on screen. I didn't realize that. I was looking at the uh, paper here. Didn't realize I left my name up there. Sorry about that. All right, he says, uh, he started playing pool in 2013 because he got tired of getting injured in sports. Well, that's, uh, yeah, pool can be a lot less uh, physically, uh, you know, at least a lot less injuries. And his favorite me memory is winning first place in Wisconsin. Yeah, 
winning a big tournament is definitely a good memory to have. His favorite game? All games, because they all benefit from each other. That is true. It's good to be a good all-around player. And his advice to an aspiring player? Work hard, play hard, do it for the love of the game and not the money. Excellent advice. And why do you love pool? Because it uh, brings me peace of mind and you can be competitive. All right, dry break for Frankie brings Ken Salim, the German sniper, to the table. Nice little safety, nicely done. I thought he was going to be shooting at this one, trying to come around two rails, trying to play for the two in the side, but nope, didn't want any part of that. Frankie looks a little bit like Jeffrey DeLuna. Yeah, I can see that. Comes, uh, is he bringing out the jump cue? No, it looks like he's kicking. All right, nice solid hit. Is he going to get a safety out of it? Uh, well, sort of, because that one doesn't pass the four. Wouldn't exactly call this a safety, just hasn't left an easy shot. Oh, nice attempt, and he did have position on the two, and he got the backup safety out of it. So a little three-way shot there, nicely done. Why the lonely commentator? Someone called Kelly Fisher to join him? Yeah, if Kelly Fisher's in the area. Come on down. Come sit in the commentator's booth with us. All right, looks like this battle over the one ball is about to come to an end. Looks like Can can play position on the two in the same pocket as the one. Come out, come out. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, this rack's pretty wide open now. Seven to the eight. Could be a little tricky, depends how he gets on that seven. But with the six ball right there, there's no reason why you shouldn't get perfect on the seven to get to the eight. Yeah, he's looking he's looking a bit different this this set than he than he did the first set he was on on the TV table. He's looking all like he's all business now, unlike that first set.
All right, Can Salim makes the opening deposit into his account. One nothing in this race to seven. Brackets are online at challenge.com. I put a link in the chat room for you guys. Nope, brackets at, uh, nope, that is incorrect. Let me try this again. There we go. That's the correct link. That's a pretty nice shot to start with. Nice opening shot there, uh, Can. Yeah, it's starting to look like Can is hitting his gear here. He's going to be tough to catch. How's the speed? How is the speed? It's okay. He's overrun it a little. Not a problem, though. No. Right now, it doesn't look like anything's being a problem for him. It's just kind of freewheeling a little bit. Can do no wrong. A uh, break and run, I believe. And I think the last time Fre Frankie was at the table was when they were battling over that one ball at the beginning of the first game. I think Ken came out on top for that battle for the one ball. Then he ran out that rack and broke and ran out that s this rack. All right, Frankie, we gotta throw a monkey in the wrench here. Gotta put a stop to the Can Salim show. Show him you can play a little too. All right, he's made one in the side and got a look at the two, no shot though. All right, safety coming up. All right, it's got him hooked. And it looks like he's going for his jump cue. Looks like he's got all kinds of pieces, parts here. All right, which one are we going with?
And it's a pretty small target to land on here. <laughs> Nine's fairly close to the two. Amy's got to get over the eight, got to get over the eight, get over the nine. All right, we're trying to land on, basically trying to land on top of the two ball. All right, good hit. And is he going to get a safe out of it? All right, well, he's... Frankie does have a look at this, too, but again, no shot, so I don't know that he can even bank this cross side. Oh, well, he could have, and he's left him hooked again. All right, don't put that jump cue away yet. Looks like he's already got his jump cue in hand. And draw, did he draw it too much? Navigated through there, pretty nice. That was that was a nice shot. Very touchy, handled it beautifully. Yeah, the four does just barely squeak past that six. Right now, it's just looking like the Can Salim show. Come on, uh, Frankie, put a stop to this. Let's come up a little short on this. Doesn't phase him in the least. All right, three nothing, race to seven. Let's have a look at this jump again. Jump draw, boom. Does he have a shot? I don't think he has a shot.
All right, push out. The winner of this match will be one half of the hot seat match. The other half of the hot seat match will be the winner of Tom McCluskey and Andrew Mackey. So, you know, whoever wins this match, they'll be moving into the hot seat match. So that should be a good match too, naturally. Hot seat matches usually are. All right, nice little shot. Is he going to get that cue ball over there? No, cue ball didn't get there, but he hasn't really left a shot. Just another safety. Hey, hello, Jimbo. Good hit, and well, he's left a window. But that's not a bad result because, you know, he was kicking at the ball. He's left no easy shot. All right, Frankie. Wow, hit it hard. Hit it hard. Something's got to go. Well, this is going to sit up real nice for Frankie. As long as he can go forward and avoid hitting the six with the cue ball, he should be sitting pretty nice. So I think he can get past the six. Oh, yeah, no problem. It's hard to tell the angles on camera. He's come up a little short on his position. He's going to have to go... And rail him back you know, between that 7 9. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, get away from that 6. Get away from it. All right, good. Uh, yeah, they're, p they're paying eight places. So. Whoever wins this match, they're going to be guaranteed at least third place. As soon as this game is over, I'll put the payouts up on screen. All right, whoa, cue ball, whoa. <laughs> All right, Frankie on the scoreboard. All right, so the payout. So first place is a paid entry into the US Open nine ball championship coming up later this year, plus $1,145 cash. So a little bit of spending money, I'll pay your travel expenses and whatnot. But second place through eighth place also get some money. So these players, even if they lose this match, they're still in the money. But, you know, if you win this match, then you move up that ladder a little bit. If you win this match, you're guaranteed at least third place. All 
All right, Frankie with the break. All right, uh, nine ball. Go nine. All right, just simple little safety. Yeah, you would have liked that cue ball to have gotten up a little bit closer to that three ball just to make the kick a little more difficult, but he's he's got him hooked. Good hit, and he's got a rail. And did he leave him uh, a shot, or did he get him hooked? Looks like he's got him hooked. So that was a nice shot there by Cam. Oh, nice hit and stick, and all right, he's left him hooked. Is he going to go for the rail first or uh, jump shot? Actually, the rail first doesn't look available, so jump shot it is. Uh, has this guy missed a jump shot yet? Holy cow. I'm getting tired of showing replays of his jump shots. So no more replays of jump shots for you unless it's like a three rail kick jump bank something or other. Carom into the nine. Uh oh. Whew. All of like 16 degrees out there and the wind's blowing at like 40 miles an hour or something stupid like that. That sounds uh, downright chilly. This eight ball might be hampering him a little bit here. Well, if it did, he didn't uh, show it. Doesn't look to it does not look to me like the eight passes a nine to the corner. Can he go to the side rail and like split them or try and hit the eight? He looks pretty straight on this six. Well, he was trying to. Oh. All right. Grip it and rip it. Bank it. Or is he gonna play safe? He could just play safe. Okay, just play safe. effort. He was in a tough spot there and he hasn't been able to shoot much. to seven. NCPTplay.com It's a website for the tour that's uh, doing this event. They also do women's events and open events. So 
So if you're anywhere in uh, in the area, consider playing with the North Central Pool Tour. Come on down. Not sure about it? Come check out a tournament. Could be a little opening here. A little whisper of breath for Frankie. Just what the doctor ordered. Mm -hmm. And I just shoot this with a bunch of inside, just play for the four in the left corner. He might try to play for the four nine combination. He was looking at it. And oh no, he's gonna end up with it in the side, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah I was wondering if he was going to want to come over. He's got a, looks like a little bit of, I don't know, maybe anxiety or whatever, you know, from sitting there and watching Can run out for a couple of games. Oh, he's looking cool as a cucumber. Yeah, well, you know, he's letting his stroke out a little bit. That helps let mm -hmm. some of that pent up, you know, energy and stuff. I'm surprised he didn't follow two rails there with that one. Um, but it lets that pent up energy out going that extra rail and stuff like that. Yeah, Frankie not looking like he's being intimidated at all by, by Can. Especially if he puts this nine away. Put the nine away. There you go. Frankie will not be intimidated. Can who? Couldn't ring a bell, sorry. Uh, these, uh, these events are in the uh, Midwest. There are tours and stuff uh, in California. Yeah, go check out the Mez tour. I know. In the um, West Mez Tour, West Coast Swing. Uh, um, there's uh, the women's have the women have one there too, and I can't remember the name of it. Um, and then uh, one of the Colado sisters does a junior uh, tour in California as well. I think it's Emmalin. All kinds of stuff trying to go in the hole. Ha, ha, I see what you did there, Hood. Hood star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got the other side of uh, the winner's bracket. The other match going on on that table directly behind us here. All right, push out. Danger and Tom, correct? Um, yeah, McCluskey. Yeah. Not uh, Carabazos, he's out. Yeah. yeah. I'm not thinking too highly of this push out. I mean, yeah, I might pass this one back. I'm not liking it. snuck right out there. Looks like he's going to spin this in and let this cue ball come all the way up. He controlled that real nice. Yeah, that was that was not easy. <laughs> 
to make sure that you make the six and have the two ball, or, or the five and have the two ball come out. All right, small pocket down there for this three. And a lot of people want to shoot that like that uh, that five ball straight in and not kind of cut it in like he did there. Yeah, he actually shot it rail first. He shot yeah. the two into the rail. Cheated that pocket to the max to squeeze it past that eight. Nice yeah, he's shot. He's going to have to pull a cue ball back to where he is right now for the six ball. Uh, if he could stop it, there's the gap right there between the nine and seven or just slide up table. I like just drawing it back to where he is with a little bit of English. No, he's just going to go flying around the table. Short side. How's he feeling? <laughs> I'll let you know after he slices this six in and gets perfect on the seven. I'd say he's feeling pretty darn good. <laughs> pretty freaking sporty. I'd say he's feeling like he can do no wrong, that he can make anything on the table. Okay, his style of play, the way he looks, reminds me so much of Justin Hall five years ago. And Celine, five to two, race yeah. to seven. Swish. And it's going to be his break. He's made a few. So gonna, is that eight ball going to come open it up or make it worse? Um, it neither. Wor <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really help it or hurt it, really, I don't think. Uh, I'm wondering, though, if he can now see the edge of this floor to be able to thin it behind me. Yep. So I guess it made, yep. so I guess it, made it better. <laughs> thin it at the eight. Cue ball a couple rails back down here using the nine six as blockers. He's hit that pretty nice. Right, but he has left a pretty routine, uh, you know, hit and stick here. Mm -hmm. Just careful you don't make the seven in the side. Just let the cue ball leak out a little. Yeah, no easy shot here. One thing that... Uh, can does have going for him here is that all he has to do is pocket this ball and he's on the five. A little bit of center. Well, he's drawing this ball. Wow. This makes this shot like three times harder. And he drills it. <laughs> Probably ten times harder at that speed drawing it. Instead of just rolling this in one rail, he's coming around. I thought I would have thought he would just follow one rail straight up at the six in the left corner. Yeah. Getting a little too loose, maybe. And in doing so, he's also kind of tied up that, uh, you know, he's blocked the pocket for the six. So he may no, he's force come down uh, Freddie to, I mean, Frankie. You might want to call him Freddie, but Frankie. Either play a six-nine combination or try to play for, like, the six in the side. I like going up for the six on the side. He said that was a pretty get up there. Yeah, kind of 50 yard line between six nine combo and six on the side. And cut the six on the side. If you can slide the cue ball off of the six, so the seven's just hanging there in the side pocket. Yeah, just make the six. You won't, you shouldn't scratch. And just roll the six in. Shouldn't be a scratch. Oh, come on. Get, the, oh, get around. Get her. Okay, shoo. 
Nice shot. <laughs> he got there. Nice shot there, Frankie. Whoa, whoa. Watch out. There's a little a side bit of a, pocket over there. A little bit of adrenaline there. Yeah. Holy cow. Whoopsie. Yeah. All right, come on. Breathe, regroup, yeah. put this nine in the hole. You can do it. Oh. It. Oh, no. Don't scratch. Don't no, scratch. Don't do that. Ay. Ay, ay, ay. Aunt puts him on the hill. Well, at least he gets to break after that. Don't take out too much aggression on the break, though, yeah, and fly uh, Whitey off exactly. the table or something, you know. <laughs> Miss Q. We had that happen once today. And that was against Can, wasn't it? Was he didn't on, take ball on this, in hand. Then on this, oh, that was. Uh, yeah, he miscued on the break, but yep. yeah. Yep, uh, and that's what happened. Yep. Let out a little too much aggression there. Yep. But look at this six-four. Two seven six four combination. Oh no, which uh, the two and you bank the three nine at it. Look how huge that pocket is. Ah, uh -huh. there you go. Yeah, three nine bank. Now he's going to do the four ball combination. No, I don't like this. It's too much to control. I like the bank combo on the nine though, because that's a big pocket. Huge pocket, and he's missed it and opened it up. And look at this team. Frankie may have to shoot at this nine ball. It's almost like that horse was getting tired standing on that other side. <laughs> oh, oh man, <laughs> what a what a good effort. And look where he's got the cue ball. Oh, he's made the four. Nope. Nope. <laughs> as much as we've seen uh, balls just hang like that, uh, yeah. I'm not surprised at the four, huh? And Cam's got, if, if two passes the five, he's got the shot. Uh, I think the chat, does. you know, the chat room likes your uh, your shot too. The three nine bank. Oh, something's got to go. Oh, something's got to give. Yeah, four balls moving. How'd nothing go? This one's you got you got to put a good stroke on this. He hit that nice. You don't want to stroke it too much, and you draw it in the side pocket. You got to hit that with a, a really good stroke. It's a whole lot harder than than it looks to not overdraw that. Was it in? Nope. nope. It's in front of the hole. Perfect. <laughs> Going for it, perfect. Yeah, I thought it might end up on the end rail, but nope. Sh speed was perfect. Making sure he doesn't come too far. Oh, this is, I wouldn't this call this perfect. perfect no. but He's going to have to check it up off the end rail here. Yeah, he'll handle it. He's handled it just fine. Yeah, all kinds of room for that shot. Is Justin Martin there? Yes, yes he, he was. He, he was, was on the live stream last match. Yep, you can actually go back and watch it if you'd like. Yeah, you can rewind. On most devices. Well, that's it. House is cleaned. <laughs> Children are fed, put to sleep. And school is out. Can Salim defeating Frankie Ruiz. 7-2. This was an A-side match, so... Frankie's still alive. All right, we're going to have another match coming up soon. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Kevin and Sherry Ross, Railbirds. See ya.